Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this picture and asked how they could clean it up. And in lieu of cleaning it up, and if you wanted one just like this, and I looked under flag wave clip art, and I kind of recreated it. Mine's a little bit different. Uh, depending on what you're going to engrave it on, you can make the stars white and the, this black. We might go through that. But just get you a flag off the Internet. Take your rectangle tool and draw you a rectangle about the thickness of that line and, and do it close because it is pretty important. It's our flag and you know, bring that in a little bit, maybe make it a little bit wider. It's kind of hard to tell with this fuzzy picture. So, and you can always change it here. It's 0 0.075, so we're going to make 0 0.07, make it a little bit thinner. Of course, I had my ratio locked, so it, it changed both of them. So with your ratio unlocked, just go 0 0.07, and that made it a little bit thinner. I'm going to set my nudge distance on something pretty little. And you see I can't click on my nudge distance because I'm on my clip art. So we're going to change our nudge factor 0 0.001 so we can move it just minutely. We don't want to do that. You could actually lock that clip art. Might help you. But now I'm going to click on the line. And I made a video almost kind of like this, but this one's a little bit different. Now we're going to control D. Start moving your rectangle and then hold down the control button and you'll get right on there. Then click and hold down the shift and select both those. Well, what we're going to have to do is to lock this. Go to object, lock. That way we can't grab it. So I'm going to grab my red line. Holding down the shift and grab the second red line. And then go up to effects blend and there's one, two, three, four, five lines. So we're going to put five copies. And then that way they're perfectly even spacing and everything's perfect. Now we're going to draw a rectangle around the flag part. And I would get on that node, go to that node and then move over and just kind of get close. Now there are several ways you could do this. But I found the easiest way to do it is to use the nudge distance. This thing is pretty little. It's only less than an inch. It's inch and a half. So we're going to go, we're going to make our nudge factor two. And then we're going to get up the smart fill tool and we're going to fill in these parts. Well, we don't want white. So let's back up here and make it. I'm using somebody else's program. So I have once why I have trouble. Getting back to my RGB, which if you're an engraver you want in to use, then we want black. And I'm going to fill that in and then nudge it over. Fill that in. And this way, I'm only getting the short part of the flag, and that's what I want. Now, we could delete all these lines by getting our pick tool and holding down the Alt button and just select select through there and then you hit all those rectangles and you've moved them. Now we can fill in this black and nudge it over. Now I'm going to left click and right click and I'm, I've made the flag. Now without moving this, you're going to want to make your stars. So go to your star and then, you know, this picture is so fuzzy it's kind of hard. And I, it's a hairline, but it's so small that it looks big. And then put this star on top of that star. Control D and make a duplicate and move it. Start moving and then hold down the control button. That way it's on an equal plane. Now I'm going to uh, shift select, go up to effects again and blend. And this time I want four copies for the making up the four stars in between. And then that way they're equally spaced. Now they are a blend, but you can always grab that one. Control D and make a duplicate. Move it down to that spot. Control D. And we don't really want it there, but we can. We'll start again with the Control D. And then start moving and then hold down the, contr the Control button. And then that way you're even. Shift select both of them and go back to blend. I could have left my blend docker open. 
And this time we just want three copies. I hit bevel. I do that a lot. And we want three copies. Now there's several ways you could do this. Because there's 50 stars, you know, the lines aren't, you know, like this has six stars and six stars on the bottom. So what we can do is grab all those, control D and make a duplicate. There's, you can blend this, but you might as well just start moving it down to where it's there. Control D, control D, and as long as it looks good, it's good. Then grab just this line, control D, holding down the shift key. And if you think you're good enough, you're really good enough to go. Now grab all your stars and move them over. That's how easy that was. Now to blend this. Well, first of all, we're gonna make our stars black in this one. So I'm gonna left click and you know, see what's happened, it's a blend. So we're gonna select them all, go up to object, break the 27 objects apart, go to object, group, ungroup, and now we're gonna select them all and we're gonna left click, right click, I do not know why that's done. Why that's not working. Huh, there we go. Oh. I was hitting the wrong button. I was right clicking, left clicking. Anyway, so you got your start. Now, let's control D G and group it together. Let's open up the envelope tool, not the envelope tool up here under effects, but the envelope tool on your toolbar and go to envelope. Now to make that star wavy, and maybe we can bring this one in, kind of maybe make it smaller so we can see it. And it all depends on what the customer wants and what it, their looks like. But it's a lot easier to take the envelope tool and double click on that line, double click on that line, basically I'm doing is making nodes and just double clicking on these lines. Then I'm gonna select these two nodes and I'm gonna delete them. Now I'm gonna select these two nodes and I'm gonna bring them down. Then I'm gonna select these two nodes and I'm gonna bring them up. And you can do this to your heart's content. That's a little bit funny looking right there. Don't know really why. Let's try the opposite way. You know, that for some reason, that's reacting differently than our object. So let's do this. Let's grab that object, go to group and ungroup, and let's nudge this box out of the way. That might be our problem. As I had two boxes there. Let's see if that doesn't make a difference. And somehow I nudged something wrong. Let's get rid of our box. Nudge this back up. And now let's group this, Control G. And let's see if it doesn't work now. Maybe it had something to do with having two boxes. Grab the envelope tool. We'll just go ahead and take those two. Now we're going to delete these two. Select both of them so they come down equally. Yeah, there we go. It's because I had two boxes. And then let's double click there and double click there and then select both those and come up. And you can play around with this till the you know cows come home. Um, you know, make it more or less wavy. Um, you know, you could take out you could definitely take out these nodes and it won't change anything because that's a straight part of the flag. But anyway, that's how you could make a flag. So everything black's going to engrave. You would want a border around it, you know, and then I'm going to stop this video and make part two about how you could make all that black and engrave it just the opposite. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.